Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tovia. I'm going to show you guys how to make southern style crispy fried flounder. It's quick and easy to throw together. You'll find all the ingredients throughout the video as well as the description box. So here in my bowl I have three quarter cups of all purpose flour. I have three quarter cups of yellow corn milk. So to that I have all my spices that I have here and it's a half a teaspoon of Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of both onion powder and garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and that is all you're going to need and we're going to mix those ingredients together. Now this is the same recipe, my breading recipe that I use in my fried shrimp video. So if you want to see the fried shrimp recipe just click in the i-card and you'll be able to see that video. So I'm going to be working with six pieces of flounder fillets. So the flounder that I have has already been filleted. So I'm going to roll each flounder into my, my uh, seafood bread and mixture here. Remove it from the bowl, give it a thorough shake, and then I have a little rack here that I'm just going to set it on. So I'm going to do the same for all my flounder. So I have all my fish breaded. So now what I'm going to do, I have here a bowl that I have a little bit of water in, like half a cup of water. So I'm going to take my flounder that I've already breaded once, I'm going to quickly dredge it in the water, just like that. You don't want to even let it sit in the water for a long period of time. Then roll it back through the breading, the seafood breader, and I'm going to place this on the rack. So it's going to have a nice light coating, but it's still going to be really crispy. Now if you don't have a rack, you can do this on a plate. Now for your second coating, I'll show you what to do if you don't have a rack, but you do have plates that you're working with. So after you double bread it, you're going to let it sit and dry for like 10 minutes. But I'm going to show you what to do if you're working with a plate. So you're going to bread it the same way. Run it through the flour. The bread and mixture. And then what I like to do is one side I like to heavily coat it. So the top portion and I'm not even going to worry about shaking it off and I just lay it onto the plate so that way when it's, it starts to sweat it's not really going to sweat so much because you have that extra breader on but using the rack will allow the air to circulate and it will keep everything from be, uh, sticking and becoming soggy so we'll be back we'll let it sit and dry for 10 minutes so I let my fish sit and dry for 10 minutes and I have here like two cups of vegetable oil that I heated up and it's at about 320 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to take my fish and just place it in the hot oil. I'm only going to do like two because I don't want to overcrowd my oil and I don't want my oil temperature to drop. So if you overcrowd it, it's going to cause your oil temperature to drop and your fish is not going to fry crispy. It's going to come out really soggy. So we're going to let this fry for about six minutes or so. They'll start to turn golden brown. They'll start to float to the top. And usually what I do is I let it cook a little bit longer, but I'll show you when it gets to that point. Now I did start heating my oil on high heat and I turned the heat down. So I'm working on medium high heat. I'm just going to keep adjusting the heat so as the fish begins to brown, you want to make sure you do give them a flip. So they're almost done. They're almost what we're looking for. So my fish is almost done. I like my fish to be nice and golden and crisp. So as you hear, the oil is really gotten quiet. 
the fish has floated to the top, and usually I let it cook for like another minute after it floats to the top. But I can tell this is done. It's beautiful, golden, it's not flocky. So I'm just going to place this in the pan and have a little wire basket so that way the air can circulate, keep it crisp, and also all the remaining oil can drip. Please hit the thumbs up, share this video, add it to your playlist, and leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate your support. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. I have cocktail sauce. I love cocktail sauce, but just for the sake of time. So it's crisp, really crisp on the outside, but still very moist and flaky on the inside and that's what we're after. Mm. It's fantastic. The seasons are just right. Super crispy on the outside, tender, still moist on the inside. And like I said, you can use the seafood bread or recipe for, for shrimp. And um, check out the fried shrimp video if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. Please remember to live and be well. And let's come together and do what we can to love each other. Thank you so much for watching.